Hey Anna, look. Look, it's on TV again. What? What's on TV? About the fucking boys. What boys? The boys that killed the prefect. Look, look. As a conference approaching Gateway Station, we are all preparing for this big execution. Live on the Imperial Network, there's the execution of the Prefect's murderer. Now our Prefect has been in position for decades on Earth. He was a decorated general, a close relative of the Emperor. This execution is going to be a pay-per-view event. And we will catch up with the crews of the other ships that are transferring the other two prisoners. And we will get exclusive interviews for all your viewing pleasure. Including the release of the torture videos. Yes, we have exclusive rights to the torture videos to all the prisoners. So stay tuned for a profile of all the prisoners involved in the murder of the Prefect. We will be back after this. Well, Chi Chi. That's gonna be interesting. I know, I know. Look, I fucking hate adverts, but look. I can't wait to see what they say about these guys. Cause, uh, to be honest, I'm really liking that Henry boy a bit more. I'll tell you what. How about we just, when they get here, we rescue them and we run away. <laughs> rescue and run away. What are you on about? How are we going to get away? On what ship are we going to get away on? Oh, I don't know, but could we not just get an escape pod and just all four of us escape? All four of us escape. That's just a pipe dream. Come on, Chi Chi. You can't be serious. I'm, I'm deadly serious. I, I don't want to be here. I can't be here anymore. They, at some point, they are going to get me. You you just saved me the other day. But I know that they really want to get hold of me. Look. I know they want to do that, but... You can't run away. Because if, if you get caught running away, they're going to shoot you. And, and I'll just be here on my own. Look. The bottom line is, I'd rather be dead them be abused like that anymore and if they ever get to violate me then I'm dead okay I'm not gonna be here after they've done it I won't let them do that I won't let them take me like that they're gonna have to kill me Chi Chi come on you can't be talking like this at the end of the day you've still got your life what kind of life is being a prisoner and then being look Look, I know, I know. Well, no, you don't, because they're not after you. I'm sorry to say this, but for some reason, it's just me that they're after. And um, I don't know why they've got no interest in you, because you look exactly the same as me. Exactly the same. I think it's because you they all just want to break you. If you just towed the line a bit better, I think it's a bit too far down the line for that. They're going to do it to me. They're going to teach me a lesson the hard way, okay? I just know it. I just know it. Look, don't worry. Look, hey, look, look, it's coming on TV now. Okay, let's turn the volume back up. His name is Henry, and he has killed 10 generals, 5 sergeants, 30 majors, and 150 privates. Wow. He's a killer. And he kills the people that I hate. <laughs> oh. He's my hero. Oh, look at that. Look at those stats. Henry has escaped from a maximum security research facility and is incredibly dangerous. It is believed that he holds the key to the next evolution of weaponry. Then, we have Josh, who is 45 years of age. He has killed four generals, two lieutenants, and 200 privates that we know of. 
By the time he gets to Nibiru, to be executed in the presence of the Emperor himself, we believe his body count will increase once we have the sufficient data to know. And here, the unidentified Nephilim, the old man as they call him, he carries a trench coat covered with the skin of his enemies. He is an old, decrepit man that is dangerous. He is a traitor to his kind. He claims he did not know what he was. He always thought himself a human, but that is not the case. He maintains that he never knew what he was, especially when we shot his human poor wife in front of him. His half-breed child has been in protective care from the Anunnaki Empire for over 30 years. We will not reveal which Nephilim child this is, because she is always a Nephilim, and she, I have to say, is doing very well within the ranks of the Anunnaki Empire, and her traitor father will be put to death tomorrow night. Yes, his ship arrives tomorrow night for his execution, 10 p.m. local time. Subscription for this pay-per-view event is 10 zooms. Be there and watch the fun unfold. I swear, Anna, these bastards. We gotta do something to stop this execution. What do you think we can do, huh? What are we supposed to do? We're just Anna Sapiens, yeah? But we can use their technology. That is one design flaw that they put in us. We can do anything they can do. And I have to say we can do it better because we're mammals, okay? They gave us part of the human anatomy that they don't have. Yeah, but they did that for breeding purposes. Come on. We need to just get our heads down and get the work going, okay? Look, at the end of the day, Chi Chi, this is just a pipe dream. I know, but listen, we've got to do something. Look, what can we do? This is a space station, a massive space station full of Anunnaki, okay? And not just Anunnaki, you've got a load of Anasapiens, you've got a load of human conscripts, you've got loads of people here who are just going to kill us if we try. You know, those human conscripts, they're vicious. They're vicious because they've been brainwashed, okay? Yeah, but look, the old man, that Henry, the guy that you fancy so much, and Josh, who's going, you know, who's going to be executed in front of the Emperor, they're all being made examples of, okay? There is nothing we can do. They're going to be heavily guarded, okay? Yeah, but no, there is no yeah but about it. We can't do anything about it. Look, I tell you now, I can't be taking any more of this stuff, okay? I can't be taking these guys on this ship uh, just abusing me anymore. I can't do it. I really can't do it. Because it's me they're always after. It's always me and not you. But that's because you keep teasing them with, with your attitude. Look. I'm not teasing them with any attitude. I give them attitude because they don't give me any respect, okay? They leave you alone because you just got your head down all the time. But me, me, I resist them as best I can and I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Look, it's a pipe dream, okay? There's nothing you can do or I can do to stop this. So just keep your head down. Don't let them get you and live to fight another day. Thank you for listening to The Bounty, a 30 years since story. If you enjoy any of our content, why not check out our other story based podcasts? They are A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs and Gumshoe. All the links for those are in the description below. We also have our Total Entertainment podcast where I talk about the process of setting up a live show and a review of that show as well as having the odd interview of a grassroots entertainer, musician or singer. The link for that is also in the description below. Until next time guys, 
bye for now.